The rough grass is nearly as tall as a grown man. Looks like the remains of a makeshift barricade. Gold nugget. Finds cling to the facade of the old building. Greenery hangs from the eaves of the building. Worms. The worms are oozing a green slime. If I were a Focolo uh Thokoloshi? I'd eat this. Small crop of carrots and radishes stand unattended. Is that all that's here? The worms? I think so. <laughs> and the gold, of course. What do I do with the worms? They can be combined. What could I... Oh, wait a minute. They might go into this tank. Can make a move? Nope. Nope. I can't think of what I'd combine this with. Had the green mark of there's something here over at the train station. Can we continue the conversation now that they've had a nap? Eh? Hello? Hello, Shungalolo. Where, where were we? Ah, yes. Hello? Over there? Yes, old timer. I'm right here. Please go on. Yes, yes, yes. The Ascendancy is the name for the Tribulationist Hierarchy. Darius at the top, living on the Penrose, hanging over Babel. Beneath him, the priests, watching over the games or plotting their schemes. Then, the witnesses and the flock. Flocks of birds keep me up at night, all their flapping and their chirping. I need to know about Babel. Please, Shongololo. Babel was formed before the doom. It rose from the ocean floor, just as mysteriously as the Penrose appeared. The Ascendancy claimed the new landmass when the first war began. They carved it into an effigy of Darius and the Wanderer. The Temple of Babel can be reached, but only through a warden. Only an Agnet can give you that access, which they never will. Tulip loved to gaze at the lights of Babel across the ocean. I got a job cleaning the trains. Tulip married a rich man and had children. Two girls and a boy. I worked my way up to ticket collector, then signal maintainer, and finally conductor. Has the story of a fucking end? I... <laughs> and so rude. A she was lovely. Have I told you how lovely she was? Then her husband died in a nasty accident. Tulip traveled by train to his funeral. This doesn't sound like it has a happy ending. Direct hit from an energy weapon vaporized the passenger car. My tulip vanished in a soft red mist. I was the conductor of that very train. I need to rest. 
Monk, can you carry me a bit? You and your brother appear to be going through some difficulties. You've been through much together. We've all been through a lot together. We... Yes, we have. The three of us together. Squad. We wouldn't have made it this far without you. Being out in the world is new to me. I was never meant to leave the lab. I was not even meant to form actual emotional connections with real people. It was all simulated. They would give me things and then take them away to see how I would respond. My memories are mostly implanted from another source. I remember how it all felt, but I know they aren't mine. How can you be sure they aren't your memories? It's not the memories themselves, it's the emotions. I've never been in a war zone, yet I know what fear feels like. I know how it feels to see your friends and comrades killed before your eyes. I wish I could erase those feelings and memories, just turn them off somehow. Your emotions make you special, Pooch. Your bond with us is real. Thank you, Mark. You and Don are... my pack. Back at Witherburg, let's buy something, and also I think we have something to do with the bug and maybe the worms, too. At the Overlook, remember the person fishing? Yeah, they had a green thing coming from it, so... I feel like that's probably related, because I know they lost their bug, and then we have that bug that we just let out. It's gotta be something we can do with that. Anyway. Gold nugget, come on, please be two, please be two. Two credits, yes. If I can get another two, I can buy the thing here, the last thing, and then also the the um the cigarettes. Ah, oh, just one credit. Damn it. That rhino looked pretty big too. Oh, my. Let's see what you. Electrical interference shield. Where is it? That's not it. Heat resistance. There it is. Upgrade protect sensitive systems from electrical interference. Still don't know what the use of this stuff is. Maybe I need it to go through the uh, portal in the very end for us to survive or something. But it's definitely important. <laughs> There's no way it's there for nothing. It's just like, oh, cool. Protected from something we'll never encounter. Ishmael? Hey, fuck up. Uh, oh, it's you and your dog. You look a bit more at home now, eh? Not so much like a newborn giraffe stumbling around. Ha, <laughs> I guess so, eh? I've traveled far since we met. It's a good look on all of you. You looked too clean when we first met. You and your dog looks proper fail now. I never trust a man with a clean dog. Last time we spoke, you said you were looking for something for the Chisinyama. An animal. Yeah, they're beast. Clean, green and brown, squeaky dung. They thought I wanted a place in their village. I just like to hunt. Where did you last see it? Without my hunting bug, it's hard to find the small things. No, I haven't seen it. But other trackers say it likes seawater. I built a trap to catch small animals. But I'm not someone gonna trap something I'm not gonna eat. Oh, I need some help. Could I use that trap? I'll make it up to you. Oh, sure. It's weighing me down here. Take it. Not sure what bait you could use. But if you get the thing into the trap, it'll close up lacquer quick. If you end up catching it, let me know what it tastes like. Well, we got the bait, the worms. It likes seawater. Well, the best place I can think of for that is back at the very beginning. Milkbush, I think was the name. Oh, it's that thing. Yeah. We're at the beach at Milkbush.
Uh, you might want to get away, Don. I might have to leave and come back. There we go. This fellow is a strange little thing that looks like it's part rat, part rabbit, and full-on ugly. Mean? The winds have blown you back to us, and with our lost Tokoloshi. Shakai doubted your turn, but I told him that I saw in you a man of conviction. A man with the blood of the old gods in him. Gods of wind and fire and earth. Glad to help. Now, about that tether device. You must learn to savor the delights the world has to offer, Mark Leslie. Come inside. Stay a while. We can talk face to face. Entry granted. A full transport and reoccupants. Who is that big man? It smells so nice in here. Scanning for noxious fumes. A simple stable wooden bridge crosses over the river. Did I just hear a train whistle? Every hut is elegantly constructed and adorned with color. The flowering herb has a bittersweet fragrance. The aromas of hearty beef stew waft from the cooking fire. They just spoke English, but it showed up as like alien subtitles over them, right? A stream flows peacefully through the lazy village. The lookout tower is empty right now. Nasi toils tirelessly as the craft takes shape. A Nasi slave works on the construction of the vessel. <laughs> what is the vessel? Freshly killed beef is drying in the sun. The outer walls of the hut are beautifully painted in bright, intricate patterns. Placid brown cows are milling about in, in a small herd.
villagers doze in the warmth of the day. Welcome, Mark Leslie, to the homeland of the Chizunyama. It is thanks to you that we are one step closer to leaving this place. To join with the old gods in Ayal. While you may not be Chiz or Yama in body, your deeds have bound you closer to us, wrapped you in the warm blanket of fellowship and understanding. Thank you, Nompilo, Oeto, and Shaka. We feel honored to be here. The honor is ours, Mark Leslie. Now that you have proven your worth to us, perhaps we can show our worth to you. The winds have told us of your dealings with the Hanasi. We know it is no coincidence that you have arrived in our lives after talking to Uothi. Uti mentioned you were searching for some sort of tear in reality. Ah, yes. We had heard that she was searching for the gateway into Leal. The Hanasi workers talk when they are deprived of herb for a while. Are the Hanasi here your slaves? Slave is a terrible word, and there's no place among followers of the old gods. The Hanasi here are indentured to us. They give us the sweat of their brows constructing our ark, and we provide them with the herb they need. Hmm. Okay. Slave's a bad word, but, um, they're slaves. They're not really slaves, they're just indentured. Okay. Can you tell me more about this Ark of yours? When we were cheese, we spoke with a memory walker. He told us of Leal, home to the old gods. We scoured many memory walkers over time and discovered designs for the Ark. A great vessel that could carry us into Leal to meet the old gods. We tried once before, but the portal spawner would not allow something the size of the Ark to travel to Leal. The portal spawner tore open a hole in space, but the Ark that was meant to travel through it crashed. That was generations ago. When we returned to our homeland, we discovered that it had been stripped bare, broken down, burned to ash. So we erected this ancient bar shield to keep ourselves safe while we constructed the new Ark. In the tether? When we uncovered the bar shield, we read about the array and the tether device. The tether device inside the array possessed technology that would allow something immense to travel across the void into Leon. Is there any chance of a deal between you and Uti? Any chance for peace? We are always open to negotiate. But while Othi searches for the gateway to Leal, she cannot be trusted. If you can help us find the gateway first, we will open negotiations with Othi over generations. The location has been lost. To know where the gateway to Leal has been torn open, that information would be invaluable to us. Bring us that, and you shall have your tether. Now go. Mark Leslie, we look forward to speaking with you again. Notice this console over here. Ah, I can't use it. Another green mark for the train station. <laughs> What are you laughing about, Don? Old friend! I missed you. Nobody comes to see me anymore. My wheels are fused. I will be rotting away in the African sun for eternity. I'll keep you company and you can tell me some more interesting stuff. Let me tell you about the bass. I visited the bass once as a train. Horrid folks. Very pretentious, love to tell endless stories about their great past. They would go on and on about what the world was like before the Penrose came. Really annoying bunch. Your stories really are interesting. Please tell me more. 
Bas, yes, yes. An ancient people, those Bas were. The scientists and great minds of the old world. They built an empire, traded with over a hundred settlements. They grew powerful. The ascendancy got worried. The Bas started working on a weapon that would destroy Babel. But before the weapon could be deployed, the priests rained down destruction on the Bas. The sky turned black. Every single Bas, man, woman, and child, were turned to ash, wiped from existence. Ah, oh, that doesn't sound good. There's no good left in this world, my boy. I remember the Red Agnets. It was those red metal masters that reinstituted the rail service. A massive engineering project was underway to expand the warden network. Coal and iron needed to be moved vast distances, and trains were ideal. Trains. <laughs> Tulip. Trains. I'm thinking the next step lies with these folks, because... They're mappers, right? If they make maps, then they should be able to tell me where the tear is. Human male! Not you. How's it? It's the human from before. Or she must apologize for being one. We and us had to go to sleep. Oh, that's okay, Nachi. I asked a lot of questions. You must have been tired. We and us are tired. Yes. But the antenna must work. Always. In case Home Tree calls us. If they call and Nachi answers, maybe they will come to fetch me us. And Nachi can go home. You tell me about someone taking your transponder. Who was it? Your slips. A, a friend. She was sad. Narchi tried to make her happy. We spoke about the light and the warmth. We spoke about the grass and the red sand. We spoke about the wind and, and the crisp leaves. She had to leave home tree when she had too much drink. They broke her transponder. She... She was outcast. She could not return. We... Just offered to share Narchi's transponder. Take turns to use it. She took it away for herself. While we were in the dark. The, the Hanassi say she's gone to the cattle. Archie has heard it is nice there. Maybe when she comes to get Narchi, we and us can go there also. Warning! Overheating! Please initiate cool down mode! Back into the dark. Tell me, human man. What is it like there where you stand in, in the light? It's, uh, it's pretty. Yeah, there's golden sunlight peeking through shreds of cloud in a wide blue sky. Grasses and flowers are growing, and there's a warm shimmer in the air. <laughs> that sounds. Nice. That sounds very nice. Commence and cool down mode. It sounds like now we can go talk with Loose Lips, which is strange. Because they mentioned the transponder and that Loose Lips took it before, which is why I went to talk with Loose Lips before, but I couldn't. But now that they mention it a second time, we probably can. Human male! Loose lips. Sure. Please lower your voice, human man. My head? My head is sore. How did you hear that name? Narchi at the Hanasi Fortress told me. 
Not she is a good cacus, a lucky drone. Any cacus that becomes a drone is a lucky cacus. They don't have to carry this weight, this useless husk of flesh with them. You think Nachi is lucky? He didn't seem too happy about losing his body. That is because he has forgotten what it feels like to be trapped inside one's own body. To have arms that cannot move. To have legs that cannot feel the tips of their toes brushing over the tallest grass. We gave up so much for this. So much. So your people weren't always like this? Accessing memory files. Please be patient. Generations ago we lived as nomads, always walking, wandering from the grasslands of Zhao Zhao to the volcanic rocks of Slag. To own a Caicos map was the highest honor. We charted the course of the Wardens, even finding the soft tears in space for them to travel through. As the ether started to close in on our world, we were exposed to far too much of it. The rainbow death followed us, taking our elderly, taking our children. We fled to the forests of Saxonwald, making our home in the tall trees, fearful that the ether would again rob us of our past and our future. Inside those trees, we found a transmitter, a direct link to the Dulan. Some even thought it could be a link to Doris itself. The Dulan encouraged us to explore even further, to leave the safety of the treetops. How did you know it was the voice of the Dulahan? When you are given a gift from the gods, you do not question it. And this voice told you to leave and to carry on making maps. Accessing memory files. Please be patient. Yes, we wanted to stay in the treetops, but the call to travel the world was too loud to ignore. The Dulahan told us to ask the Flay for some spare drones to help us travel and avoid the ether. But soon we began to rely on the drones for everything. To move, to hunt, to explore. The ether made us weak. It made us need the drones even more. Even our children were born weak. Then the darkness took us, took our eyes, took the feeling in our skin. It didn't even leave us our tongues. We have lost everything. We do not even have our own language anymore. Without these drones, we are empty husks. We shut down the voice of the Dulahan, turned away from our god, and we stayed in those trees. How do I get access to the Caicos maps? You cannot. Only Caicos can access home tree. Other organics are not allowed. Even if a Caicus with a faulty transponder tries to enter, the drones will open fire. A Caicus transponder? Warning! Potential to compromise home tree security! A Caicus transponder tells other drones that you are Caicus. Mine broke so I could not return to home tree. So when Nachi was in maintenance mode, I took his. How the f How could you do that to your friend? I don't know. I was weak. After I took it, I left. I could not face him. Here, take it. I do not want it. I do not need it. Please, take it far away from me. Short-term dormancy in progress. Shutting down higher brain functions. Thank you. Have a nice day. So, we have the transponder, but organics can't go through here. This prompt just appeared when I got here, talked to Pooch, so I think they're going to be the one to go in for us. Even with the transponder, your flesh will peel from your bones if you go through that door. Turn on the transponder. I'll link to it and enter home tree myself. You sure, Pooch? It could be dangerous up there. No more dangerous than anything else we have done so far. I appreciate the concern, civilian, but this is my mission. Uh, 
Oh, we get to actually play as them. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to play as Pooch in the cases and try to find the map for the tear.